Hey everyone, last video we went over smoothing the camera out. When you start to walk it delays in and then when you're done walking it delays back to you. Alright, and then what we're going to talk about today is when you go behind an object it will go, it will change its opacity. And right now we've been using this house as a tile set. What I'm going to do today, and it'll be linked in the description, is I took it and put it in its own sprite sheet. We're going to use it as an object. We're going to do this change through an object. So let's get started. Let's go to our resources. Let's On the objects folder, let's add an image. We're going to name it the house. Or we're going to add the house, sorry. And then it's one to one. That's good. Let's go to animations now. Let's add our animation, calling it the house. Register the house image to it, and it's all set up, good to go. Now, let's see here. On the list, we're going to change it to floor. just want to go over something that has been brought up in the PGM discords. The origin might not be exactly what I thought it was. I thought that it was more like the pivot, like you'd find in Unity. And, and the pivot was where the basically the the y-axis would detect its priorities whether it was in front of or behind an object so but what it sounds like in pgm is it's actually more of it has to do with more like rotating or, or a scaling thing where it would do that from and so in this instance say that we were to rotate this image and we had it on floor like this it would actually be more rotating around as if it was the moon rotating from the earth so the earth would be this origin right here and then this image would be a moon and it would kind of be looking like that where if we had it center the image would just be rotating from with, within itself it would just be rotating more in place I'm going to however keep it on floor just because that's what we've been doing and just go from there on that There's center is P the PGM Discord was actually recommending center, so that probably is the better way, but since I've been using floor, I'm just going to use it for the, the rest of these tutorials. We're going to call this opacity 255. This is going to be the motion that is full opacity. This is the only direction for it, and opacity 255. And that's all we need to set up for this, as far as the frame goes. We do, however, need to set up the wall and hit detection attack detection I mean so let's click on the wall let's set that up real quick we want it to be about right there about what the tile does already it's fine so we'll actually be a, probably a little less than the tile and just go yeah like that and the purple box the collision box we don't need actually so we can delete that because we don't need anything to attack it, so and that's what the the purple box does is it it senses when it's getting attacked. So we don't need that. And there we go, got rid of it. A little buggy right there. And so how we are going to detect when to change is through the house's attack detection. So we're basically going to be putting an attack detection right here, add a keyframe. We want it somewhere behind the house. So you have to step inside of it a little bit before it will go. Something like that. And so what it's saying is as the player's walking, he the, the player has a purple collision box. So as it's walking, we're going to have this house trying to, it's basically attacking at all times while it's in this motion. And when the player enters it, it's now going to register as an attack. We're going to have it change opacity. And then we're also going to have it change attack detection to now be around the house on the outside. So that when the player now leaves, it will go back to this motion. I'll bring that one out there. So now that we got it set up for that, let's copy, paste this one. And we're going to call this 125, because that's the opacity that looked good. 
you'll recognize opacity from RM. It's pretty. They use the same uh, terms for that. I think coming from Unity, I think they called it alpha. So let's see here. All right, so opacity. That's what we want. Now, however, we want the attack detection to be different when you're leaving. So we want to grab this, make it a little different. We're also going to have to add more attack detections. So insert, add a keyframe, bring it up here. Let's see real quick. I'm just trying to judge the distance between this one and the inside one here. Yeah, that should be enough. You don't want your player to collision to be able to overlap both, otherwise you'll get a blinking effect, because when we set up our object, it's going to be going back and forth between them. So now we need one more attack area. A little buggy right there. Okay, there we go. Sometimes you have to click off and back on. It's, it's a little interesting sometimes. All right. Go like that. And like that. I'm guessing that the player is going to hit this no matter what as he's leaving. That's something that we'll test. So we, we don't need a little thing right there because I don't think it's necessary. All right, so we have the hit detection set up for when it's in full opacity, when it's not full opacity. Now let's go to our objects and let's create an object out of these animations. So we have our house. We're going to use the house animations. I'm going to put this as the enemy group. I'll explain why in a second. It's, it's going to allow attack detection for the player. And we also want to add the enemy in this. If I don't think we'll get around to adding enemies. Just because I'm running out of time. <laughs> but it, you would want all wall detections on enemies and players eventually. We'll leave the... the tiles as it is call it good so this first action or in rm you could think of it as the event page all we're doing is we're creating two event pages with different sprites is the concept of it opacity 255 that's what we want make it a little bigger so we can see and we're going to copy click off and paste and do the opacity change for the 125 and click on that. And that's literally it. We just want the image change when it goes to that page. So then we're going to click on the condition to go to 125. It's going to be a simple contact with collision detection of other object. So because we gave the house an attack detection, it can now contact a collision detection of the other object, which we want to specify to be the player. We also want to set it for all sides of the attack detection. And then we're going to copy this. We're going to add a link from 125 back to 255 and we're going to paste. And it's exactly the same. And this is all we need to set it up, the, the basic loop. It's going to be on this page. We go behind it. It's going to read, it's going to detect the collision. It's going to go to this page, which also changes the collision. Then when it detects the new collision, it's going to go back to this page, which is going to change the collision back to normal. That's the logic behind it. So now we'll go to scenes. We'll select our house. Put it down here. We will scale it. And then we will play the game and see the moment of truth, see if it worked. All right, so we go, oh, I already know one thing we forgot, but that's fine. When we didn't have the attack detection come up that far, which is fine. But when you go inside, it changes opacity. And then when you leave, it changes it back to full. Let's see if... Well, we're not going to be able to do it because the one thing we forgot was to, <laughs> and this looks really funny, is to change, to not be able to push the object. So yeah, this works. Let's see if I can go, yep, 
so we don't have to worry about putting that little yep because it it would be fine the only thing that we have to do to fix this is we have to turn off the wall pushing in the basic settings of the house object but other than that this turned out really nice in and out let's see if okay so right here this is what i was talking about the player's collision detection Remember, the collision detection is we put it as the full body of the player. And the attack detection for the house, I think we put just right here. So this attack detection for the house, we're either going to have to move this one down, or we're going to have to move this one up a little bit to not get this effect, because it's registering both of them right now. The side ones are fine, because he's a little skinnier, but he is a little taller, and so he's hitting both of these detections. So... I'll let you guys do that. You guys know how to do that by now, or else it's in my other videos if you need help. But we will go from here. I'm hoping to get one more about just shooting a basic projectile. 